Okay, this video uh, I'm going to show how to generate some of the files for the surfaces tab. So first off, you know, you probably already have your tin file, um, but the contractors can't really uh, consume a tin file. Um, so you're going to want to make uh, a Linux mill surface out of that. Um, so it's fairly simple. Uh, so I'll show you the steps to do that. Um, so using GeoPack, uh, if we go to our DTM tools, um, we could look at this last one, hold it down, and there is a export land XML. You can go and select your tin file, give it a project name. So here's the description I talked about in the last video. Um, if you describe what this is, this will show up um, in in uh, the application under description. It'll show up there. Um, and obviously you want your survey feet. Um, choose the location and the name. You hit export and you have a tin file, or a Linux mail file. Okay, so that was pretty easy. Um, so the gen file, you know, for proposed conditions for GeoPack, you know, um, we just need that uh, gen file created. Um, so the gen file is gonna make like a text file um, that kind of contains information about a proposed surface, um, and that's how um, you're going to give your pro surface data as a, a reference to the contractors. Um, my previous video, you know, explained more about, you know, what the gen file is and what's going to be used for and the stipulations behind using it uh, since it, you know, will not 100% represent your actual pro surface. Um, so uh, to create a gen file, uh, we're going to go to the GeoPack road cross-section tab and we're going to open up the reports all right and what we're after is a multi-line report and here's where we will you know select your job file and chain if you haven't done that already so mine's already selected um, and, and the way this works is we're going to select the levels that would you know make up the proposed surface um, so if I just hit this, you know, I, I already have them selected, but um, you know, if you're using ODAT criteria files, we, they're pretty standard. Um, if you choose like proposed shoulder surface, proposed surf pavement surface, finished grade, finished grade seated, and ditch bottom, um, those you know five levels. If you select those, you're, and you're using our criteria, that should get everything. Um, you can hit the display button and it'll kind of highlight it for you so you you know what you're doing, what you're going to get. Um, change it to top, primary, um, and then we can add this. Um, and then you could add more if you needed to, but um, in our case, that that's enough. Um, you know, we want to leave it as display only because we just want the output file, which output file is a geopack and you'll see how it does the dot gen so you can you know choose where it's going to save this this um, ascii file choose your method to create um, and then you hit apply and it goes through and creates this gen file so then you repeat that for your other alignments if you have cross sections for them um, and that creates your gen file so I just want to reiterate again that it is a for reference only. Um, the contractors know that it is not uh, a perfect representation of the surface, but it's, it is better than nothing, and it gives them a starting point, which they then have to go through and fix up. Um, so that is you know, how you create these. So again, you want to make sure that you are giving the raw format, which would be the tin, and uh, a consumable format for the contractors, which would be like land XML or the gen files. Um, so that's your existing or your proposed. All right, next video, I'll go over info files.